Hello everyone. I hope you have watched all the videos from this topic, inter-process communication, and you have understood the concept well. There were three practice questions that I gave to you from this topic. I hope you have tried all of them on your own. So let's solve this task, task number one, so that if, if there is any, any ambiguity, any problem that you are facing or any confusion, you can clear it. So to solve this task, we have to make two separate programs. That means there will be two separate C files. One will be for the server, the other will be the client. In this server program, we will create the shared memory and we will write hello Linux in the shared memory. While in the client program, we will access that shared memory and we will read whatever the server program wrote in that shared memory. So let's solve this task using those five steps that we learned in the previous videos and let's start. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch them first before going further. We have made two separate files which are server.c and client.c. So let's write code for server.c first. So since this is a server, we have to use this flag IPC user create. This will create the shared memory. Uh, let's write the step number two. Also, before writing step number two, let's check if uh, the shared memory is created uh, successfully or not. So I explained this to you before that um, if the value is minus 1, the value of SHN PDR and shared memory pointer is a minus 1, that means there is an error. Also, since minus 1 is an integer and shared memory pointer is actually a character pointer, right? You can see that it right here. So this is a character pointer while minus 1 is an integer. So we cannot perform this operator between them. We cannot compare them both because they are of different data types. That's why I have to typecast this minus one into character pointer. So I perform type casting here. Now let's uh, write the step four and five before we write step number three. Now let's perform this third step. Let's declare an array. OK, 
okay for this step we need to okay we need to understand that we need to write whatever is in this um, character array or you can say string text we have to write all of this in the shared memory so to do that we have to write it byte by byte right so we must know the length of this string although we can count it we can just count it and we can make our loop run till that length and, and the count is actually 11 so we can we can do that i think it is yeah. so we can do that but then our program will not be generic so we will only be able to write any string or category which, will, which has the size 11 bytes right no more no more less so that's not right we should make it generic so for that let's use a function I and mean, string length for uh, getting the length of this string or uh, character array uh, in, a, in a variable. So to do that, let's first of all find the length of the string using that variable. So for that, let's declare a variable. Let's Now to use this function, we must use in the library, which is string string dot h. Whatever is in the ith index of text will be written in the template index. So we are starting from the zeroth index and champ is right now pointing at the start of the memory. So i, which is the index, is increasing as well as champ is increasing. So we are writing whatever is in the text variable to the shared memory. So byte by byte. So we are writing whatever is in the text variable to the shared memory byte by byte. You can use any terminating character, but you have to make sure that put whichever character you use here, you have to use the same character in the point. So in the client program, you will write um, hash in the first index or first address of the shared memory. Yeah. So until then, this server, this program will be stuck in an infinite loop so that it won't close before the client is done. Let's compile this program and see if there is any error. Okay, I've forgotten to add another library, which is Let's compile again. So it has compiled successfully. Now let's write the code for the client program. Since this is client, we will not write the flag IPC underscore QA because we do not want to 
create the share memory, you will just ask for it. So client never creates the share memory. Now let's see if we have successfully created it or if there is any error. So you never delete the share memory in the client. So there is no good stuff. So what was the character, the terminating character in the server? Let's see that. So the terminating character in the server was this. This was the terminating character. This is where we have put the terminating character in terms of the terminating character is actually the sign of percentage. So we will read in the client until percentage sign is found. Tell the server that we are done on the client. We have to write uh, something at the first index of the share menu. And what do we have to write? We have to write the hash tag. Because this is what we used in the server. So server is waiting for hash character to be put on the first index of the share menu. So this is what we will do at the um, and after after we are done with the step, we will put hash at the first index of the share Now let's compile the client and see if there is any error. So the server and client both are successfully compiled. Let's compile the server once again so you can see. Both are successfully compiled, there is no other. Now let's run it. So we will always run the server first. We will always run the server first and then we will run the client. Why? Because server has to create the shared memory, so it has to run first. So now let's run the server program. Okay, so we haven't written anything in the server, so nothing is showing here. We haven't printed out anything in the server. Now let's run the client program. So you see whatever was written in the shared memory is printed in the client. Now let's make some changes and then run this program. So first of all, let's change this, this text. And let's see if we change this, what happens. Now you can see this new different output on the screen. Whatever the server wrote in the shared memory is read by the client and printed on screen in the time, regardless of the size of the variable text. Why? Because we have used the function string length in our code. We have not hard coded the length of our variable text. That's why our program is generic. Now this is just one way of writing in the shared memory. There are many other ways. 
and let's see in the way. So you know that the name of the any character array is the address of the first index of that character array or string. Right? So since this is the address of first element of uh, this array, we can use it. This is a pointer actually, so we can use it in that way. Let's see how will we write it if we consider it as a pointer and not as an array. Right? So let's see. So for that, we will write ten, and then we will write text here. So whatever is written on this ad address, whatever this address is pointing to, will be written to uh, the address which temp is pointing. Right? And in that case, we will um, increment temp as well as text. Since we have made changes in both of them, so let's compile both of them. Okay, we, will, we won't run the client first, we will run the server first. So I think this was helpful. Let me know if there is any issue or any question about it.